you know, Q2 is here, doors are wide open, the vaccines are being rolled out. We're being told that California, for example, is gonna open up fully June 15th. So there's a lot of positive energy. There's a lot of hope in the air, and I'm sure all of you can feel it. People are feeling more hopeful. Um, and at the same time, you know, a lot of women, women especially, are feeling um, still exhausted. You know, Jen, you're saying I'm still resting. There's a lot of exhaustion of, because of what we as women have had to go through during the pandemic, because we took care of everyone. We took care of the kids. We put oxygen into our businesses and our careers. We um, took, you know, tried to take care of our elderly parents, you know, looking over our shoulders, even though we couldn't see them due to COVID. So things are hopeful and we're, and, and we're excited. There's a new energy. I feel it, we feel it as a team, just in our business, we see a new level of energy, but we're still a little exhausted. <laughs> so I want you to give yourself some grace and ease, knowing that, knowing that, um, it is, things are looking up and we're gonna have a new normal, right? We're gonna have a new normal, the way things are going. And at the same time, um, give yourself some grace and ease, right? Be sure to be nurturing yourself. And I know it's hard with the kids, but I think it's going to get a little bit easier because slowly they're gonna to start to go back to school um, and things are going to, to change a bit, change for the better. But I, I'm coming on this morning to talk to you about, you know, everybody may be saying, oh, go, we're opening up June 15th, but you're still feeling tired. You're still feeling a little, um, you know, drained from it all. I want you to realize that you're not alone. All women feel this way. All women are feeling this way. Every, everyone I talk to, every article I read. So it's good but we've got to balance it with how we're feeling and how do we get back there. And there's a couple ways. One is we've got to always be looking at our why. We've got to always be looking at our why. Why am I doing this in your business, in your career? You know, why am I getting up in the morning to do this, right? And because that's the focus that you've got to have as we head into this new normal, as we head into Q2, Q3, and Q4, ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I in this particular relationship? Why am I choosing to adopt this new habit that I've adopted? So it, it's not always about business, although that's what I talk about a lot. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, Sulitam. Um, it's about asking yourself, why am I doing this? And again, the business, the relationship I'm in personally, the habit that I've picked up, why am I doing this? What's the purpose? And I'll tell you, this has become more important to me than ever. And that's why I want to share it with all of you, because sometimes I feel like I came to it a little bit late, but, and I don't want you to. I want you to, I'm, I always wanna share everything that's going on with me, so hopefully you'll learn something and you'll get ahead of the game. You know, a little ahead, ahead of the game of where I was when I was your age. You know, at 61, I've gotta ask myself every day now, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Because the, the number of years in front of me no matter, even if I live to 110, are less than what's behind me. Do you see that? And, you know, depending on your age, listen, when I was in my 30s and my 40s, I never really thought about it. I guess I just thought I'd live forever, you know? And probably even in my early 50s, which is kind of interesting, because in my early 50s is when I donated, um, you know, my kidney to my husband. So you would think, well, you, if you're 50 and you've donated an organ, you know, you, all, you might think about it. But I still didn't. But it was after 55 and really now in my 60s, like, I really value every day in a different way. And I'll tell you something else that's happening, and this is probably more important than anything else. I value every day the work I'm doing with women 
the people I spend time with, the relationships I have. I'm all done with relationships that, that are toxic and that um, absolutely do nothing to improve the quality of my life. That's why I love you guys, because you guys are, I love having every one of you in my life. But I'll tell you something else. I'm speaking my truth and I don't really care what people think. I am, I share everything. I speak my truth and it's not that I wasn't before. It's sometimes I think I was hiding a little bit and I wouldn't share absolutely everything because I was afraid of how I would be judged or criticized. So I'm here to tell all of you, I guess this is where I'm going this morning. I'm here to tell all of you that the moment that you decide that you're gonna share your truth, because I wish that I had had this at 50, the moment that you decide that I'm gonna share my truth so transparently, no matter how it comes across to people, that's when you really start to feel free. That's when you really start to feel, you know, we talk about operating in our genius and I believe that we do. We do wanna stay in our genius because it's so easy and it's effortless, but even below genius, I think there might be, I'm coming to learn at the age of 60, in my 60s, even below that level, I think there's another small core area called your truth. And I think your truth exists below the genius. And when you can really like continue to drill down below your genius into your truth, man, does life become a lot easier and you feel freer. So this morning, I think what I wanted to share with you is, I want you to, to be asking yourself, you know, we're in Q2, a lot of things are opening up, there's a new energy. You know, hopefully you're, yeah, you know, I want you to get your rest. And, and just you know, inhale and exhale and be ready for this. But ask yourself, why am I doing this? And is there some part of this that I need to change? Or is why am I doing this? You're all excited and you're ready to, um, you know, full, full force ahead. You know, you're ready to accelerate. So ask yourself, what is that? Do I need to make some changes? Do I need to just go full force ahead? And here's, you'll know it because your energy, when you are in your truth, when you're in your genius, when your why is so spot on, your energy to do things is just, it's just, um, it's magnified. It's just, you, you have more energy than you ever thought possible. Because see, it's easy. It's so freaking easy because you don't have to think about what somebody's gonna say, how they're gonna judge me. We spend a lot of time on that, by the way, ladies. So when we can get over that, then we have a lot of time to do what we're here to do, the work we're here to do. And that's what I'm really excited about because I feel like even though I've, I feel like I've done great work and, and, and if I were to leave this earth today, like I would, I would feel like I, I have done great work for other people and I've helped a lot of people, but I wanna do even more great work. And the way to do that is to really be in your truth. So let's talk about how do we get there? Enough of joy talking about it, how do we do it? The way we get into our truth is to make sure we're having plenty of time in solitude, that we're having plenty, uh, and that, but we need consistency. So look, ladies, having solitude every day as a woman and as a mother, that's kind of like ridiculous. It's never gonna happen. So we have to develop those rituals in the morning, which I know most of you do, to get up and have that, you know, 15 to 20 minutes of just stillness, meditation, journaling, prayer, whatever it is for you, and then be writing down what comes out of that. Don't just do it and then walk away. Do it and then write down what thoughts come up for you. And then when you can, you know, I'm a big believer of getting away. You know, even though I was away with my daughter and she was with me and we were college touring, I was in a new environment. I was in a hotel where, so I didn't have to cook. I didn't have to do any laundry. I didn't have to do anything except take my daughter on a college tour, which was fun. So that was really downtime for me, believe it or not. And I got to, you know, I slept later. There were just a lot of things. But I, I, I even developed, I think, a deeper sense of my truth, even on this trip. And, and my daughter was with me, I wasn't solo. So it's just about committing to the time. It's about committing to the time. We're in Q2, which means like Q1 is gone, like it's behind us. 
So we got to review like, what the hell did we do in Q1? What do I want to bring forth out of Q1, right? What do I want to take forward? But what do I want to leave behind? Let's make Q2 even better than Q1. Maybe you had a blockbuster in Q1 and maybe you had a bust out. Doesn't matter. If you had a great Q1, let's take it and magnify it and amplify it in Q2. If your Q1 like did not go the way you thought it would, let's figure out why it didn't and let's improve upon that. I know with my, you know, my premium clients and my private clients, we're working on that right now. Like my calendar is chock full of of women where we're diving deep on this. What's going well? What's not going well? How do we improve it? But this is not just in your business. It's in your career. It's your business. It's your personal life. Because see, if we want to amplify our impact, our personal life's got to be in order. If you want to amplify your impact, your personal life also has to be in order. Why? Because that's another ring of support around you. That's another ring of support around you. And we need all the support we can get, ladies, because we're doing a lot. So I just, I want to make sure that you, you know that. Uh, real quick, I'm going to mention that my Finding Joy Recharge Your Power event is coming up next Saturday, April 17th at 9 a.m. Pacific. It's free. Um, if you want to join, um, we're going to be talking about why we're feeling even though the world is moving into its new normal, why are we still feeling kind of exhausted as women? And what can we do about it? And, um, you know, full disclosure, we are gonna be talking about the um, collaboration I'm now doing with the Be Unit Products, uh, and, but, but talking about how we've gotta start nourishing ourselves from the inside. We've got to start taking care of our health from the inside in order to amplify our impact on the outside, right? That's another ring of support. Remember I talked about your relationships? Well, our internal health, it's the thing that we can't see every day. We can see this, but we can't see internally, right? So, and look, ladies, I know that everybody here is not always eating optimally because I just know that because of the schedules we keep and the way we're running, we're eating on the go a lot of times, right? I mean, my God, last week, my daughter and I really didn't want to go into indoor restaurants. Oh my God, was I off my program. We were, we were getting Postmates and DoorDash to the hotel constantly. Can you imagine the salt, the fat that was in that food? I mean, ah! So, I mean, I'm back on track now, I'm home. But the point is, when we're going about our day and we're making our impact, we're not always making healthy choices because we're rushing. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that. So it's gonna be very evenly spaced in that we're gonna talk about the reasons why with solutions, not just for the supplements, but other solutions on why, how we can improve, but also um, we're also gonna share some information about those products as well. And I wanna give you full disclosure. And that's at Finding Joy dot co co forward slash recharge um so i want to before we go today i want to read you a couple of um i got this book um the things you can see only when you slow down so we're all here together this morning so i'm going to read you two passages uh, before we go what here we go um when the mind looks outward which is what we do most of the time, it is swayed by the heavy winds of the world. But when the mind faces inward, we can find our center and rest in, in stillness. And I think, I have one more for you, I think your center, in my languaging, is that truth. Your center is that truth. And so we have to go in. And that's why I'm gonna encourage everyone here to continue and never give up on that 15 minutes each morning of stillness, gratitude, meditation, journaling. It's whatever practice works for you. I love um, stillness and meditation, as you all know. Now, when you do that stillness, when you take that, hey, good morning, Annette, how are you? When you, when you practice that stillness, and when you practice your morning practice, your ritual, whatever it is, and you really go deep and figure out what is my why? What is my why for Q2? I mean, it should be the same every single day, 
for the most part 365 days a year but again if your Q1 was off you may need to go through some real you know work here and work here at the center to find out what's working what's not working and how do I move forward into Q2 because ladies this is important stuff if you don't if you don't we'll be back here together on July 1st doing the same thing over and over because we didn't take the time to do the work so I'm gonna ask you to do that because when you go inside and get centered on your truth the impact you're here to make I'm gonna read you one more phrase because this is really important this is really, really important. Here it is. When you know that, here's what you must do, so please listen closely. The toll of a bell is heard far and wide only when the bell is struck hard. So the toll of the bell is your impact, it's your truth, it's your voice. Only when it is struck hard. What does that mean? That means consistency. Getting the message out consistency and loud. Let everybody hear it. Don't move away from judgment and criticism. Who the hell cares at this stage, right? After all we've been through. Your influence won't spread far without the sacrifice of hard work, right? Your influence won't spread far without the sacrifice of your hard work. We do have to work hard and, consistent, and consistently to spread the word. And the last one is, the world notices your efforts more quickly than you think. The world notices more your efforts more quickly than when you think when you strike the bell hard, that means share far and wide, and when you do it consistent, consistently. So remember that, the members of my Align Online membership know this because I say it all the time. Remember that um, consistency connects and connection converts, okay? Consistency connects and connection converts. When I do something consistently, like these Instagram Lives almost every Thursday at 7 a.m. for almost two years, when I do this consistently, consistently, I connect with you and you start to trust me. And when you trust me, then that converts into a follower, that converts into you wanting to go deeper because there's a trust there. Got it? Okay. All right. I want to wish all of you a great day. Thank you so much for following this morning. And please do take that time. Take that time. It's April the 8th, I think. Mm -hmm. Take the time to sit down before, make this Q2 valuable. Make this th these three months valuable. Please sit down and take the time. Why am I doing this? Okay? And get it together. All right. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.